I'm using some of that neoprene I was telling you about that's like red on the back or front or whatever and then black on the other side. Um, Cause I'm just being a little cheap. I stopped to go to the store and get lining because I don't have that yet, but that's fine. Um, so here, I just put it on my mannequin to see where I'm at. And I'm actually gonna go back. Um, oh no. So I put that, I put, I put the strip. Now those, the width of the strips I'm doing, all the strips that are gonna be going down the sleeve, down the side of the swimsuit, um, as you can see here, they are two inches wide. So just cut strips that are two inches wide. Um, you know, measure the space from here to here. So you can get the, you know, measure the space from here to the bottom of your of your thigh so that you have the right length. And then um, as far as I was saying, I almost thought for a moment that I was gonna change it and have the zipper in the front because I thought that would be really cute. But in the end, I was like, nah, don't do it. Just have it in the back. So I found the middle part of my swimsuit and I cut a line straight down. Now I did this freestyle. Uh, I'm comfortable doing that. I can nail the middle. Um, but I would suggest as you're doing this, if you do want to go ahead and put the zipper in the back, do it when it's still its own individual piece for the back. Find the center, mark it out, and then cut it, and then assemble your swimsuit. I just kind of did it backwards because I was kind of wishy-washy. If I wanted it in the front, I wanted it in the back, so I decided on the back. So I went down, and I already tried this on, so I know that the width, oops, I know that the width, uh, I mean the length of the zipper is enough to uh, let me inside my swimsuit. So this is um, from the t bottom of it to the neck, it's about mm, it's, mm, nine and a half, nine and a half inches. Oh my God, I'm sorry, that's like so wobbly. Nine and a half inches, and then when I insert the lining, then I will put the zipper in at that time. Again, I'm not gonna put lining for the sleeves. Let's continue. So here, um, what I did with the sleeves, and this is every time that you do something, make sure you put on the trim when it's, you know, its own piece, it can be flat, and that's when you'll get the best results. Um, so what I did is I folded the, uh, what do you call it, the sleeve um, this way, like in half. I marked, I marked the two ends. You can't see it here, but I marked two ends. So that way I could get the middle. And then I laid my sleeve on my mat. And if you want, really want to get into sewing, I highly recommend a healing mat and a rotary cutter because this, is, this helps me greatly get straight, smooth lines in the middle, all that stuff. So as you can see, I laid it down flat against, um, you know, one of the ruler marks on the edge where the wrist is. And then I put my yardstick where those two markings were, you know, in the front and then over here. You know, and then I matched it up. I was on the 13 line and I just went across with chalk. So now I have, you're gonna do that on both pieces. So now I have my middle line for my sleeve. Actually, I think I over measured myself because I double check right now with this trim and the trim's actually perfect. So it's gonna look a little short, but I think I just over measured myself. And again, it's hard measuring yourself when you're by yourself. So if you have a partner, have them help you. So I'm gonna find the middle of the black strip now, pin this down. Then I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the shoulders which is do a zigzag stitch on both sides of the strip. And then after I do that and it's secured to my sleeve, then I'll fold the sleeve in half and I'll sew it, you know, cause I have to close it. I have to, I'll sew it up and then I can attach it to the armhole of my swimsuit. So here is the in progress of my game of death scuba swimsuit. So I'm using just a zigzag stitch to top stitch the black strip to the middle of the sleeve. I've already shown you how I you find the center. 
uh, well, once you find the center and then you make the line and then just put your trim, find the middle part of the trim, that med the median line, and then line that up with the line you made on the sleeve. So that way everything is good and centered. So now I'm just going to let it sew a little bit. So I already have both my sleeves assembled. Of course, you, as you saw in the videos, and I have one sleeve on the suit. Um, I also, I almost forgot to, and I'm gonna have to kind of pop open the other sleeve. I forgot to insert the trim that goes down the sides of the suit. So that's what I'm doing now before I insert the other sleeve. Um, you know, there's a nice seam there, so that's already kind of marked for you. So I just like, I fold, I fold this in half, right sides together, and that half point, I just line it, you know, I lay it and line it down with that side seam as like, you know, it's already kind of a guideline for me. And then I just pinned everything in place. Same thing as a zipper, I'm going to top stitch, um, you know, on this side, on this side, and then on this side, top stitch it down. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Um, what else? Now, oh, here's something that I, I kind of did on the fly. I have, uh, and if you don't know this, all the, if you have a machine and you have like, like see how this is red and then there's like all these red um, like stitches, all these down here and see how it says S1, if I want to access these red stitches, then I will turn my dial to S1 to access all of these and then these are still like A, B, C, D, F, G. But I used G because, um, where is this? Let me flip this. I used G because at the end of the sleeve, the trim's like floating off of the yellow material. So I needed to like, you know, like tack everything down. So as you can see, I went around it. Um, you don't have to use this. I, of course, I just used it because these are stretch stitches. So I, you could choose whatever you want. You could even do a zigzag if you want, just to tack down that black trim to the yellow, and it makes it look, you know, somewhat neater, intentional. It looks good. Um, so let me go ahead and put my trim on the on both sides. Insert the sleeves, and then I can uh, insert the lining into the suit, and then we'll move on. So here's some extra stuff that I got today when I was buying my buying my lining. This is totally optional, not the zipper, but the, what I'm about to show you here. So what I have here is called Wash Away Wonder Tape. So I was thinking, you know, because I kind of did this thing backwards, I should have cut the, the neoprene and the lining at once, and then I could sew them together. But I'm going to do them both separate and then just like sandwich in the lining. So to help me from having especially the part where the zipper is because the lining is also going to have the cut in it for the zipper I need that part not to move really much at all if I can when I go to put in the zipper so what this wash away tape is it's a double-sided tape like a stay tape and you know you just like stick your pieces together you don't want them to move sew them it says that it, it's not supposed to gum up your needle so we'll see right now when I start using it when I put in the lining. But the great thing about that is, is once you start, once you wash it, get it wet, this tape inside will dissolve and you don't have to worry about it. There's so many water soluble fabric glues, like temporary basting stuff, these tapes, uh, like those stitch switch or those wonder tape type things. Um, this one, it makes sure it does say wash away because some of them are not wash away and then they'll just be there forever. So I, I, I really like this one. This is like, I really like this one. This is like super cool. So I just wanted to share that. Let's continue. Oh, good doke. So here we are. I have the lining in. I mean, basically when you cut it out, you know, have it labeled. This is the front, this is the back. Again, if your front piece is gonna be like your back piece and you're gonna have like a thong thing, then they both are equal sizes. But since I'm having more butt coverage behind me, obviously than the front, I have to label my pieces. So sew the two lining pieces together. 
Um, I assume if you're doing this, you already have some knowledge of sewing, so you know that shoulders and shoulders go together. Don't sew in the armholes, because then how are you gonna put your arms through it? Don't sew the leg holes. Just the crotch, the sides, and the shoulders. I put it in. Of course, when you put it in, the, um, the seam in here is going to be like that, right? You don't want the, the wrong side touching you because then you know it might rub and it gets annoying now here's here's one thing you know I do have a serger uh, I think you can notice my seams here I do have a serger it's so it's sergers are so awesome you know they, it sews and cuts for you I can't do top stitching with it if I wanted to do top stitching with this kind of look then I would be investing and I would be using what's called a cover stitch machine. Since I only have a serger, not a cover stitch, I'm still gonna have to fold that down and top stitch it with a zigzag stitch. Now, here's, here's the thing with swimsuits, okay? Well, actually, hold on, let me, let me talk some more there. The elastic that I bought is going to be like the finishing for the neck hole and the leg holes. Once I, 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 I only match the neck so far, but once I match the leg holes and I pin everything together and the whole suit finally becomes one, then I'm gonna go over the edges as you can see here I did with the yellow part and I'm going to sew everything together around the leg holes with my serger. You can use a honeycomb stitch, an overlock stitch, a zigzag stitch, it'll work just fine. Um, so you do that and then I'll show you how to insert the um, elastic because anytime let me talk to you here because um, anytime that you do like a, a swimsuit it's something that's that's stretchy like especially like this you need to have this elastic in the like the armholes neck holes um, here if if I didn't have sleeves I'd have to put it in the armholes because it's like a, a, a structure thing because it's a swimsuit, it is gonna be a little tight on you. You're moving a lot in it. These areas are being stretched. Maybe not this one, not so much, but especially like the leg area, it gets stretched. Eventually it, it just, it pulls out of shape. So these rubber elastic things that I bought, your swimwear elastic, it just keeps it from getting all wonky and stretched out much longer than if you just finished it with a zigzag stitch. Like it, it provides structure and support. So that's why we do that. Um, let me go ahead and match up my leg holes, do the surging around the, uh, the leg holes, like I said, and then I'm going to start cutting out the elastic. Rule of thumb for myself, this, this is how I do think when I put elastic. Um, in this case, because of the material, I'm going to measure the, the holes, like the whole circumference for the neck and my two legs. I'm gonna take that number, I'm going to subtract it by two and a half. In the end, it'll be three because I, I, I'm gonna to have to sew it in a loop, which is a half, a half an inch seam allowance. So it's like three inches basically in total that is taken off what the actual measurement is. So if the leg hole measures 20 inches, cut a, uh, 17 and a half long piece of elastic and then sew it with a half inch seam allowance to make it 17 um, and what that is is like it's kind of like you know when you make pants that have an elastic waist the elastic waist is not the exact circumference of what the pants are without the elastic so like if I have pants that are 32 that are um, with an elastic waist the elastic is not measuring 32 it's smaller usually in the waist by like four inches and then they sew it and that's how you get that nice scrunch because once you sew it in and it's four inches smaller and you you know you you finish it you you turn it over and you top stitch it or whatever all of it shrinks and then it has like that nice scrunching around the pants and it fits snug on you instead of if you had your pants at 32 and you still put in the elastic at 32 it's gonna be loose still. So you need to have it a little bit smaller for that proper snug fit. And that's what I'm doing here with all the holes, neck hole, um, leg holes 
for the swimsuit. So let me go ahead and do that. I will show you what it looks like in the end. Let's continue. So here I am inserting the elastic. I sewed the elastic um, as best I could because it really doesn't want to sew with the rubber just in like a narrow area like this. It has such a hard time, but I got it together. I have my loop. So pretty much when you start off where you sewed the first seam on your elastic, you're gonna line it up with one of the other seams. Then you're gonna kind of pull that loop in half and find the other half point, which was over here, and I lined it up with the crotch seam. Now I have two more areas like a cross. So, so look at it this way, you're, you're trying to make like a cross, like a quadrant. So you can find the four equal points of your loop. And I just found like the other equal area in this part and I pinned it down, which is like, it's down in here. You can't see it because it's all flopped over itself. And, and then right here. So this is three inches smaller than the leg hole. As you can see, it doesn't, it, it, it's, it's too small. You know what I mean? Like the, the leg is too big. So you see all this like slack. So what I'm gonna do is like, as you sew it, and I'm going to change my bobbin thread to this yellow because I'm going to top stitch it where the wrong way is facing me, like here. So you'll see the black inside, but underneath, since I'm gonna change out the bobbin to yellow, it'll top stitch yellow and won't be as noticeable since down by my leg area, like the whole swimsuit is, is yellow, except for that one black strip, which I'm not gonna worry about too much. So I'm gonna top stitch this um, on, in a zigzag. And as you sew it, you pull. And I will show you like a demonstration of that in a second. So here we go, I already changed out the bobbin thread. I'm going to start here, see how this is not, so as I sew it, I'm gonna pull that, see how it now, it now it meets. So I'm gonna hold it like that all the way around as I start to sew, but, yeah, so let me do this first, hold on. See how I'm, how I'm pulling it? Normally I would try and do this in one step, but I want you to see what it looks like, you know, because maybe you're not understanding why do I have to cut the elastic a little bit sm smaller than the actual whole area. And I'm, I just want you to actually see so you can understand why we, why we do that. So let me, so I'm pulling from the back or from in front of me, excuse me, and both hands. Hold on, what? Oh, this is so good. Is something hung up? Here we go, there we go. Just pulling to meet everything. to get this machine service if this is I should be doing this on my Futura but I I just the lighting is better on this side of the table I don't I don't know what to tell you okay so so you can see so that's kind of what it's gonna look like it's not scrunched too much but you can see some of the scrunching uh, right in this area so what I'm gonna do again now and see how I have the bobbin don't look at the surging stitch but you can see that zigzag stitch that's what, what I wanna what I'm doing here 
me fix my bobbin. So now what we're gonna do, we're not gonna leave it like this. Now we have to actually finish it, which is to fold it over like this, same way, pull and sew, pull and sew the whole way around, but now it's gonna be finished, so. I'm gonna do an even bigger zigzag, as big as my machine will allow it. And I'm going to pull and stitch. I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna fold it over, not too much, just enough to encase the whole elastic. Then I'm gonna pull and stitch. Same thing, just do that on, on both sides. Remember, I'm pulling from the front and the back. just kind of roughly measured out the wonder tape I already put it in because I had to have two hands and I just have like a shitty setup here with my phone but basically you'll put I put it down on the nude part inside and then you gotta like let me see peel off the white part and see how it this is double stick so then I sandwiched I sandwiched the I sandwiched the yellow down on top of it so right now it's like it's as one like it's stuck together and then i'm going to insert the zipper top stitch it i'll probably even do like a honeycomb stitch on this or some crazy stretch stitch because i don't want my zipper falling off um well first i'm going to finish i just wanted to keep like the the, the lining and everything together because i'm going to do the same thing with the elastic at the neck hole um, and then I'll insert the zipper and then I'll be done. So I put down my zipper. Actually, I taped it down first. So that way when I would pick it up to try and pin it, it wouldn't shift. And that actually worked perfectly. So I have it taped and pinned because this bitch ain't moving. Um, so we're going to switch our straight edge foot or if you have a walking foot right now, switch it to a zipper foot. I'm going to install it. And then... Oh, and I didn't I didn't mention this, but obviously I didn't line the sleeves. So what I did right now is I just lined up the the armholes from the the lining and I just did like where is it? I just did like a little zigzag stitch. I'll probably serge it right now with this I just joined it so that way everything sticks together because I tried it on right now and I felt the armholes like all funny and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to connect my armholes. So let me go ahead and do that and then we'll Here is done. the finished product. Um, yeah, so excited. Let me show you the zipper. I kind of did it twice. Just I'm just paranoid like with all the stupid stuff I do when I go swimming, it's going to like... You know what I mean? Like fall like fall apart or something. So I just did like a like a double a double thing here on the outside. I thought that looked cool to have it actually exposed. I also reinforced like top stitch with a honeycomb stitch on just on the arms. I was just again, I'm just paranoid because I don't know. I I I feel like I'm gonna go hard when I go on vacation and I and I wear this. So I'm just <clears throat> and I've already tried it on, so I'm like, it fits so good. I'm so excited. So uh, I hope yours comes out good. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day.